First off, in men, there's clear evidence that estrogen acts more as a paracrine hormone, meaning that its effects are in the tissue, not the blood. So most blood work is not actually reflective of what's going on in your tissues. Lab values are merely a spillover effect in the serum. If you are going to get labs at all, as far as an estrogen, you should never get a plain estrogen level on a patient. This is because your body has many different forms of estrogen that get picked up with a regular estrogen level. This often makes the levels falsely elevated, and as a result, clinicians panic, and instead of knowing how to actually manage a person's symptoms and what's causing the symptoms, they look at a number and start patients on unnecessary medications and often cause patients to be worried about something they don't need to be worried about. So, when assessing the patient's lab work, if you're going to check an estrogen level, you need to check an ultra-sensitive estradiol using liquid chromatography at a lab. This will help filter out all the other types of estrogen from the estrogen that a clinician should be monitoring if you're going to monitor the patient's estrogen at all. If you are going to a clinic and they automatically start you on an aromatase inhibitor, whether you first start out hormones or if your estrogen looks elevated without first discussing any interventions that you can do, you need to just simply go to a new clinic.